Every year in the EU, thousands of assets belonging to criminal organizations are confiscated. These include fancy cars in the Netherlands, luxury villas and hotels in Italy, equitation centers in Ireland, and even racehorses in Belgium. Illicit activities carried out by organized crime create enormous illegal wealth every year. And despite the efforts by national authorities to seize or confiscate assets and money, much of the profits illegally obtained remain in the hands of the criminals. In Italy, organized crime revenues have been estimated at 150 billion euros yearly. In 2009, the Italian authorities seized assets worth around 800 million euros. Assets confiscated by the Italian seizure agency include real estate in Sicily that once belonged to mafia boss Bernardo Provenzano, captured in 2006 in Corleone. The former house of Provenzano is now a museum for legality, where you can also buy wine produced from former mafia-owned vineyards. In Ireland, since 2005, the Criminal Assets Bureau has frozen assets worth more than 85 million euros, including houses, cars, jewellery and a riding centre. In the Netherlands in 2009, the courts ordered confiscation of 70 million euros, but only 50 million were recovered. Billions of euros are disappearing in the hands of criminal gangs, mafia, etc. And they are invested in, uh, in money, in gold, in houses, in yachts. And that is money that belongs to the citizens. And we can do much more to get it back to the legal economy where it belongs. And that's why we must step up our efforts to confiscate money from the criminal gangs. The European Commission has presented a proposal to weaken the economic power of criminal groups and their infiltration of the legal economy. Criminal profits will be returned to public authorities, who can spend them on public services or on tax cuts. National authorities will also be better equipped to cooperate at European level. The national authorities have, to a certain extent, tools already, but these tools will be sharpened, they will be improved, and they will be easier to use across the borders. And that is one of the problems today, that we don't cooperate enough over the borders, because the criminals do, and we have to do the same.